What's up YouTube? This is Ultra Rai and today I just want to talk about Cento stands for a little bit and something that uh, you can do well you know you're going against Kenshi if obviously he doesn't put um, Cento between you and him like he normally does. So let's say I have uh, Cento stance out right? A lot of times Kenshi's going to pinch you and he's going to start doing attacks you know and stuff like that. But, some Kenshi players, uh, you know, they can't get behind you, so they'll just use Kenshi as a puppet, come up and hit you, right? If a Kenshi player's doing this, and they hit you, and you hit uh, Tento, uh, he's going to be disabled for a little bit, right? So, he's going to be disabled for a little bit. And that might give you enough to get in and, or, you know, maybe do a little bit of zoning or something like that. But just create time for you to think. But the thing is, uh, the fear of armoring through uh, some of his attacks are, uh, let me set this up right here. All right. Right, Kenshi can just block, and yes, Sento is disabled, but a lot of times he's going to be able to punch you, and Sento's going to come back. So, it's just uh, one of those things, obviously, the like, same thing there, right? He can block while Sento's hitting you, so, but obviously if Sento's behind you, then uh, the poke doesn't work. But, it's just one of those things to keep in mind. If he's pressuring you to do a Sento, you can just uh, disable him for a little bit uh, with a down one poke or any poke, honestly, right? And just one more time. There we go. And now I can't use him till right now. It's not super long time, but it is long enough time for you to create space, uh, maybe get your own zoning game going and stuff like that. Uh, and that was just something that I just wanted to make a video on because I feel like a lot of players might not know that. And I appreciate y'all's support and have a great day.